All right, there's been some Ziri Mesher updates. Uh, first one being it's faster. So we will have faster Ziri Meshes right out of the gate. Uh, and that is just a freebie. There's no button you have to press for that. Now, if we go in here to Geometry, Ziri Mesher, this is where all the Ziri Mesher settings are. You'll notice the Ziri Mesher button is bigger. There's no more Ziri Mesher Legacy. Uh, and there is a retry button. And there's also a keep poly paint button. So I'm gonna alt tap the head part right here, go into solo mode so we can focus just in on this uh, geometry here. Um, I'm gonna go down here to subdivision level three, delete higher, delete lower. So we just got a piece of geometry sitting here that uh, has a poly paint on it and we wanna zero mesh this result. So if we go in here to poly frame, this is the general geometry we have. So now I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna drop this adaptive size. Uh, you know, we'll drop it all the way down to zero. I'm going to go ahead and keep my poly paint. Uh, target polygon count of five is fine. I'm going to hit Ziri Mesher. And up here, you're going to see Ziri Mesher progress. And it's putting this high, this model right here is going into memory and it's Ziri Meshing the result. And here we have the result. Um, if I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? Adaptive size of uh, zero gave me nice even quads, but maybe I wanted to build in some of these edge changes. Let's try it again. I'm going to take this adaptive size up to 18. And instead of hitting undo to get back to that original high risk state and then retrying, with Ziri Mesher, what I can do is hit the retry button. And up here you'll see RC. So that's going to, again, use that cached state of the original model and then Ziri Mesh with uh, an adaptive size of 18. And if I wanna look at the difference between those two, I can just go back and forth between them and see which one I like better. And you know what, I may be thinking, ah, you know what, I wanna uh, Ziri Mesh this with a target polygon count of maybe 25K. So we're gonna go from the original, if I go back here, the original, which is 100,000 polygons. I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna hit retry. And again, it's not Ziri meshing what I see on my screen here. It's going back to the original and then Ziri meshing it at 25,000 polygons, keeping my poly, poly paint and using the adaptive size of 18. So if I turn off poly frame, you'll see it's keeping my poly paint. Now, poly paint is resolution dependent. So, you know, if you're Ziri meshing down, you will lose detail but I'll show you how you can get your detail back in a second. Um, but if we go back to Polyframe here, you can see I can look at all these different versions and you're gonna see, even though I had this version on my screen and then I upped the polygon count, again, it went all the way back to that stored version in memory, this version, and Ziri meshed it with these settings. So it just saves you an undo and a retry. And the other cool thing about this is when you hit the retry button, you're able to go through your undo history and just do really quick diff comparisons. Uh, if you want to, you can actually, um, you know, we can go back here and we can, I don't know, if you're new to ZBrush, you maybe uh, not know this, but you can do Shift S, that'll story, it'll snapshot this mesh to the document essentially. And then we can step forward here. I'm gonna do Shift S, I'm gonna move this over, move this uh, undo slider forward, shift S, and then finally we'll do the last one here. And now we can compare all those undos right next to each other. So again, not only are you getting a faster Ziri measure, you're also getting a retry button so that uh, you can just go through and very quickly retry again, going back to your original state here and trying new settings. Now there is caveats to that. I'm just gonna leave the documentation on the screen here. So you can take a screenshot or just pause the video and <laughs> read it. Uh, but essentially what it's saying is there's a few options in here that if you have these on or you do, for example, I'll show you a real easy one. If I go through here, I'm gonna hit Control N to clear my canvas of those screenshots here. So I've gone through here, I've stored that in memory and then I've done a bunch of retries, right? Well, let's say I go through here and start sculpting on my geometry. Oh. Now I don't have a retry anymore. Because I've updated and sculpted on my geometry, it has to recalculate this geometry. So if I Ziri mesh this now with these settings, we'll drop this down back down to maybe 2K, and I Ziri mesh this, it's going to take these current positions and then Ziri mesh it down. It's not gonna go all the way back to your original. So just something to be aware of, but it did keep my poly paint. Now, uh, speaking of, let's go back to, I'm gonna go back in my undo history to, so here's, our original, right? So this is our high res original. And then this is our 5K that had our projected poly paint. Now we did lose a little bit of resolution on our poly paint because again, poly paint is resolution dependent. You're literally poly painting on verts. Well, we can get our original poly paint back if I want to. So here's my original and I'm on the undo history right here. I'm gonna control tap that undo history and it's gonna mark that as a stored 
vert positions in space along with the RGB information. Now if I go forward one, here's our Ziri mesh version. So let's say we want to get our details back. So we've Ziri mesh this, we've got a nice kind of a game res-ish type mesh uh, and we want to get all our details back, our sculptural details and our poly paint. So what I can do, I can go up here to geometry and hit divide or hit control D on my keyboard. That's going to give us give me a subdivision and then I can go up here, up here to a sub tool and then underneath project, there is a project history. Remember when we control click this point in history, it stored those vert positions and RGB information. So I can project that back to my newly Ziri meshed and subdivided model. So I can say project history and it's got geometry and color turned on. So it, it grabbed my geometry detail and my poly paint. You see we're starting to get some of that geometry detail back and the poly paint starting to get uh, a little bit more nuanced. I'm gonna hit control D again. So now we're up to 65,000. I'm gonna project history. Now I'm gonna hit control D again. Now we're at 263,000 project history. Now I have the full detail from this point in history, that original. So here's, I just went back to this point in history. Here's my original model. Here's my Ziri mesh subdivided updated model again with the high risk poly paint and sculpt uh, projected to that geometry. Once you've done that, you don't need this stored in history anymore. Just control tap this newest point in history and then control tap it again. That'll turn it off. So that's the basics of here's the new Ziri Mesher stuff you can play with. Here's the caveats to playing with those things. And that's how you can get your color and sculptural detail uh, reprojected back to another resurfaced or retopologized, re, re version of your model.